Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you today? Good. Are you okay? Are you doing great? How was your weekend? Uh, you know, my birthday is um, but... sorry. Um, uh, celebrate my birthday. Oh, you celebrated your birthday this weekend, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Happy birthday. Oh, what's it for? I bought, uh huh. Bought. I bought. Um, tacos. Yes, see. You bought what? I I ate tacos. Ah, you ate tacos. How oh, nice. Pizza. Wow, that's so cool that you had the opportunity to eat a little bit of everything. That is so fantastic. Congratulations, Rosita, on your birthday. Congratulations to the Argentinian boy. You are very happy, I can say. <laughs> so, hopefully you got some aspirinitas yesterday because it was like, it was like, ah, you were there suffering, right? Some Coca-Cola there for the pressure. Josué, did you enjoy the game? Yes. <laughs> um, I was suffering. Uh -huh. I, I, was <laughs> I was excited. I was excited. I was shocking. <laughs> okay. Okay, in that case we have we need to be very careful with those with those adjectives, right? And today we are going to study that, but I, I will do like kind of the preview of this ones because you say like I was I was shocked. And in this case I'm going to write it here. You say I was shocked. Shocked, shocked. is like oh my god, right? Because <laughs> you say I was shocking. <laughs> Shocking is like, get the stuff, Murian. I was shocked. I was like, okay. oh, oh my God. So you, you, you don't know, right? And when you say, for example, I was, um, I was amazed, it was like you were, uh, like everything was so perfect for you yesterday. It was like, yeah, the game and messy and whatever. So you were amazed by everything because the game was amazing. Amazing. Okay, you can feel amazed, but the situation is amazing, right? Amazing. So you can say, I was, uh, for example, um, uh, what? You can say another one, for example, it can be like, uh, ah, the one that, that I was explaining the other day, right? Bored and boring. That in this case, you can say like, in a moment, I felt bored, teacher. I felt bored. Me sentí aburrido. Porque el juego estaba aburrido. But the, the one about the game, you say it was boring. Right? The situation can be boring. And you can feel bored. Okay? Esto es aburrido de sentirme yo aburrido. And boring, it's aburrido of the situation. is boring. So that is like the difference on these two. So, but I am very happy that you had the opportunity to enjoy your game. There you have another winner, Mr. Joaquin, with the fast shirt. Joaquin, are you a fast fan? Yes, teacher. Yeah, you see, another winner for the year. Yes. Right, it was, it was another amazing game, right? Because we never expected, right? Yes. 
I enjoyed yesterday the final cup. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I know right. All the, even the I have I have some students uh, on Sunday at the academy, and they were like, "Listen, see, ah, please, we need to watch the game." <laughs> it was like so <laughs> during the break. I said <laughs> because they they have a short break during, uh, in the middle of the classes. And on the break, I just saw the men and the teachers and everybody running towards the TV. And I was like, men being men, I said. <laughs> and a lot of girls, too. I mean, they were like, well, can I say? And I was like, okay. So uh, that was yes. yesterday. It was, it was a very good day, definitely. So let me just put my... Let's, can you listen to me? Yes. Oui, I cannot listen to you now. Yes. Okay, good, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dear students. Today is our, our class before the last class. So uh, we're going to be working a little bit on a, a little reading. And we are going to work as well on unit number five. That is the last part of the manual that we have. Tomorrow we are going to have some oral interaction, right? You are going to have mini presentations about uh, situations in past tense, but I am going to tell you today a little bit about what, okay? It is not a big exam, but it is just little participations that you are going to have tomorrow as the final session. And for sure, I am going to give you some tips for you to continue practicing. And uh, then you are going to be on vacations. Okay. Ah, I, I, am, I am going to be as well helping you, sending you material for you to continue working. Please, people, continue practicing your exam, on, your exam, your English on vacations. Okay. It's not like, ay, no, hablo vuelvo a hablar inglés hasta el otro año. <laughs> Two weeks without practice. Hmm. No, practice your English on vacations, okay? Keep uh, reading, keep uh, listening, keep practicing, and for sure, keep working on, on, on your uh, pronunciation and fluency. That is going to help you a lot, okay? And for sure, remember, in the case of the, the regular forms of the verbs, I don't know if I have, I think I have shared this with you on the chat. Tell me if I am mistaken. Díganme si me equivoco. Pero creo que ya les envié este documento al chat. No. Tell me if I haven't. No. No. Okay, I am going to send You're it to you. To ah, oh my God. Because of Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I am going to send it to you. These are some tips for past tense, okay? These are some, some tips for past tense for you to practice and for you to differentiate the usage of it, okay? Uh, in this case, the slide that I am showing you is about the pronunciation of the regular verbs, the regular verbs in past, that in some cases we want to say is to all of them, that you say help it, look it, wash it, laugh it, breathe it, no, right? And they have different forms of pronunciation. In this case, we have the pronunciation of id, that it's only for the verbs that finish in T and in D. You add an extra syllable. And you say want, wanted, need, needed in past, right? For the strong consonants like P, K, SH, CH, GH, PH, SS, C, or X, are with the sound T, right? You say helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed, okay? You don't say fixed, or you say fixes. No, it's with T at the end, right? You say fixed. And in these cases, for example, these differences are going to help you to have a cleaner English, right? Because the past tense regular verbs are one of the most difficult parts because you, you mispronounce the past tense of the verbs. And in the other one, we have the other form of the consonants, L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, and Z 
they are pronounced as D. So you say, I called my mother yesterday. I cleaned the house, right? I offered with the D sound, the, 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 damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed, right? It is as if you imagine, for example, in this case, imagine that you don't have this letter right here and read it like that. It's a cold, cleaned, offered, right? Damaged, loved, right? And you pronounce it like that. So the three different forms of the regular verbs are going to help you to pronounce a, a little bit cleaner English. So what is uh, the pronunciation of this one? Can you help me to practice this one? What is the pronunciation of this one according to what I have explained? Wanted. Wanted. wanted right? Wanted. Needed. Or, or wanted. Needed. Okay. There are many people who say wanted. And that is like <laughs> kind of a what? Like, like a street form. It's like, I wanted to go because they wanted to sound cool, right? But in many of the cases, right, it is better to sound correct than to sound cool, right? Say, and then people say like, huh? ¿Qué dijo? Right? Say, I wanted to go to the movies, right? I wanted to go to the movies, right? Correct pronunciation. It is not that difficult, right? I needed, I needed that. Needed. Needed. And then the other ones with the T sound at the end, say helped. Can you help me pronounce? Helped. I helped. helped my mother yesterday. Helped. Okay. Y si se fijan, esos sonidos son bastante rápidos. O sea, no es algo que se va a decir in a normal conversation, right? I helped my mother yesterday, right? When you are in a conversation, say, I helped my mother yesterday. And it is barely pronounced, right? But it is good that you know that it has to be pronounced with the T sound at the end. And the next one you have looked. Looked. I looked for you all over and I didn't find you, right? I washed the dishes already. And uh, the next one you say, um, washed and watch with a t -t sound, right? You have the TT sound, watch. What? Laughed. Laughed. Breathe. 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 Kissed. It's kissed. Danced. Danced. Fixed. Fixed. There you go. And the last one is with the D's. <laughs> it's, it's difficult to pronounce, but it requires a little bit of practice, right? So in the last one, you are going to say cold with the D. -E cold. 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 Uh, cleaned. 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 Offered. 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 Damaged. 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 Loved. 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 Okay, we don't say loved porque no termina ni entendiendo, right? Used. 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 Followed. Used. Follow. Followed. 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 Enjoyed. Followed. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Amazed. 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 Right? So those are some of the forms of id, t, and d, right? And uh, I have here a little bit more uh, verbs for us to practice. So in this case, we have the three different categories. We have the category of id, we have the category of d, and we have the category of t. So in this case, I am going to read them and then you are going to practice a little bit. Before we jump into our final topic, I wanted to practice a little bit on this one, right? Because the irregular forms have their specific form, okay? The irregular forms have their specific version. And there is no problem with that one. The problem in some cases is with the regular verbs that are the ones that give you problem. On the chat, I just send you the all, I mean, all the verbs that are in the three categories and irregular forms in the different categories for you to try to memorize them, right? Because in some cases we forget. We forget a little bit on that. 
And the irregular forms are easier if we break them out into categories, okay? I'm going to check them out uh, in a moment with you. So here, here you have the three different forms. And you have here, suggest, till, as we are going to add another, another syllable on this one, right? You say suggested, voted, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Okay, all these are from the forms of id. Suggested, accepted, Till, boded, waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Practice there with your microphone off. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Then ya, ya lo vamos a abrir. O sea, ahorita háganlo así con su micrófono apagado. Suggested, boded. Waited, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, accepted, painted, contacted, hated, included, landed, needed. Okay, now open your microphone and we are going to practice. Everybody, open the microphone. <coughs> Okay, these are the three that I heard with mistakes. This one is suggested. Suggested. It's not suggested, right? Suggested. 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 Suggest, because you say, suggested. it's a suggestion, you say. Accepted. 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 Painted. Painted. Paint. Okay, paint. Como el programa de la computadora. Paint. Painted. Painted. And this one is hated. 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 No, hated is la de la montaña. Ah. Hated. <laughs> hated, 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 and hated. adopted, adopted, hunted, hunted, hunted. hunted. Very good. Now uh, let's go with the next one. In this one, remember, as it is with the letter D at the end. Okay, I am going to silent everybody for me to repeat, and then you are going to open your microphones again. This one, imagine that you erase the letter E and you say it is lived, lived, climbed with the E without the E, phoned, waved, waved, like yeah, arrived, cleared, studied, studied. This one sounds like ED because it has the letter I but it's not on the other category, okay? Suena como id porque tiene la letra i. Say studied, pero no es está studied, okay? So you need to, to make that difference. In this one you say listened, toured, considered, traveled, stayed, rescued, happened. Practice with your microphone off. Ahí con el micrófono apagado primero y después lo abrimos. Lived, climbed, phoned, waved, arrived, arrived, cleared, studied, listened, toured, considered, traveled, stayed, rescue, happened, and that's it. Open your microphone and practice with me. Yeah. Leave, 
have happened. happened. This one is this not rescued. No, right? Rescue. 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 Rescue or rescue? Rescue. 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 Right? Rescue. Ah, rescue. Okay. rescue. Rescued? No. <laughs> rescue. And this one is not rescue. alive. This is lived. 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 Tour. 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 Como tour. Como cuando vas a un tour en un micro. Tour. 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 Rescued. 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 Okay. Now, the last category that we have here. It's the one with the t sound. It's not ch -ch -ch. no no no. Ch -ch -ch. Es cuando vea la de las tortillas. Vea. Ch -ch -ch. No mm -hmm. sound. So you say announced. Announced. Cooked. You don't say cooked. <laughs> Como un montón de gente dice. I cooked dinner. No, you say I cooked dinner. Walked. Talked. Okay, and in this one, we are going to imagine that we have here announced. Como que tuviéramos una T aquí al final, right? Cooked. Walked. Talked. Finished. Para de caso que tiene una T ahí, imagínese. So you say announced, cooked, walked, talked, finished, typed, laughed, brushed. You don't say I brushed my teeth. No, right? They say brushed, crashed, worked, liked, <laughs> and attacked. Okay. With your microphone off, we're going to practice. Announced, cooked, Announced, walked, cooked, talked, 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 finished, talked, typed, finished, laughed, typed, laughed rushed, rushed, crashed, rushed, worked, 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 like, work, work, like, 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 attack. 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 Okay. Open all your microphones. Abran todos los micrófonos. And we're going to practice again. I am going to erase it for you to read the verb. Okay. Announce. Announce. Book. 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 Cooked. Igual el chiste de brushed y alguien me dijo brushed. 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 Crashed. Brushed. Crashed. Okay. Let's read them again just because I want to make sure. Okay. Quiero asegurarme que sí se nos quedaron. The last one. The last category with T. One, two, three, go. And now. Attack. Good. So those are the regular forms in the past, people. With the list that I send you, you can practice all the list. You can practice all the lists exactly like we did it right now, right? You can practice all the lists with E, all the lists with D, all the lists with T, okay? Ahí se las he compartido para que la practiquen, no como, ay, qué linda teacher, no te lo un like. <laughs> and you leave me there forever, right? No, the idea is that you practice. Why, people? Because you are going to go to another level that is not easier. It is more complicated, right? It is advanced. Right? It's not something like, ah, yeah, it's going to become easier. No. In the next level, you need to speak more. You need to practice more. Okay? And it is going to help you that you polish these little details of pronunciation. Okay? There on the first list that I send you, right? On this one, on the first list that I send you that has the regular forms. This one, it has the three different categories. Practice them. Right? <laughs> Practice them with the different forms of pronunciation. Okay? I collected there the most common verbs that you can have with the three sounds. And I wanted to stop today and say like, no, they need to practice a little bit and uh, 
they need to review it a little bit better, right? So that's why I, I decided to do this before going over the book. And I said, no, they need to practice a little bit more, okay? No los quería enviar ahí sin pulirles ese detallito de los pasados. And that is something that I, I really wanted to. Well, I am going to call the attendance before getting into the topic. And after that, we are going to start talking about culture, about cultures and about different experiences living in different countries. I am going to call the attendance. Let me see. There you go. Hey. Ah, <laughs> sorry. I am in the incorrect category. Here I am. Okay, Alejandra Cristina. Alejandra Cristina. Astrid Michelle. Present. Thank you. Blanca Estela. Blanquita. Okay, uh, let's see. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Thank you. Claudia Yanet. Present, teacher. Ever de Jesus. Present, Miss. Gabriela Stephanie. Present, Miss. Gladys Imelda. Griselda Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Jasmine Vanessa. Present, Miss. Joaquín Ruperto. Present. José Arturo. José Emanuel. José Isaías. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, José Arturo is not here. And Lilian Estela. Luis Fernando. Present, teacher. Luis Thank you. Luis Roberto. Present. Madeline. Manuel. I'm Olivia. Here, Thank you. Madeline is not here. Olivia. Paula Maria. Rosa Esmeralda. SM teacher. Thank you. Sandra Cecilia. Present. Walter René. And Jenny Maritz. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, so there we go. After this, now I can go to the book that we're going to go over. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? How are you, Miss? Don't worry. You are just in time. It is a good pleasure to have you here. Let me just mark you on the attendance, Miss Gladys. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I am going to ask you the first question. People, have you had the opportunity to travel to another country? Have you yes, had teacher. Have you yes, had teacher. the opportunity to travel to another country? Yes. Yes, I have. Which country? Which country uh, have you visited? Uh, uh, in... Okay. Uh, which one, Manuel? New York, um, uh, Roma, uh -huh. um, Russia, Russia. Russia, uh huh. Uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil, Buenos Aires, Argentina, wow. and the other countries. Wow, that is so beautiful that you have had the opportunity to go around the world. Wow, and have you done that because of your job, Manuel? Um, uh, Sometime um, for the the world. Mm -hmm. The other the other time, um, uh, travel the for um, vacation. Oh, that's so beautiful. Well, so you can tell more about this, right? Experiencing different cultures. Gladys, which countries have you visited? Guatemala and Honduras. Guatemala and Honduras. Who else has, the, has had the chance to visit other countries? 
¿Quién más ha tenido el chance de visitar los otros países? Mi teacher. Which ones? United States and uh, all cent uh, Central America. Okay, all Central America and the United States. That's pretty yes. awesome. Anyone else? Anyone else that has traveled? Guatemala and Venezuela. Guatemala and Venezuela. That's so cool. Another one? Other countries that you have visited? Or that you have relatives in those countries? Aunque tengan parientes en, en esos países, en otros países? I think, or, or, or the voice of experience here is going to be Manuel. <laughs> he has visited, how many countries have you visited, Manuel? Como cuántos han sido en total? Maybe 12. 12? Maybe. Wow, wow, that's so fantastic. Well, yeah. today I am going to talk a little bit about different cultures. And in some cases, it is not only traveling to another country. In some cases, even in the same country, we have different cultures. Because people from Santa Ana have different traditions than people from San Salvador. And people from San Salvador are different from people from San Miguel. And you are in the same country. But the different cultures and the different traditions make us different. Okay. And even some words. And even in, even some words, food, traditions, beliefs, and different things that we have, even on the same the same department, but in different cities. And they say, no, but we don't do that. Uh -huh. And you arrive to San Miguel and they put you the eh, salsa negra, curtido, mayonesa. Delicious. <laughs> and then you say, like, what is this? You say. Right? Or if you go to Santa Ana to buy fruit and they don't put the, uh, the black sauce on the fruit and here in San Salvador, they do it. And you are like, Ew, ¿por qué me le echa salsa negra? And it's, it's a tradition here in San Salvador and they do it. Right? I suffer with that because in Santa Ana, they don't do it. And so it is the same country, right? If you go to Guatemala, for example, they have different food, they have different traditions, different beliefs, right? In Guatemala, for example, in the morning for breakfast, you have the piece of meat on your dish. Ahí está el pedazo de carne asada. Seven in the morning. And you're like, ay, oh, voy a hacer un esfuerzo. <laughs> for you to eat the, the meat in the morning or the different, the different types of tamales that they have that are like kind of rounded, round balls. And you are like, ¿Qué es esto? <laughs> and it's a tamal and it's something different, right? I was uh, telling you that for example, there in the United States, they don't eat exactly the things that we eat here, right? One day they say, hey, we're having beans for breakfast, right? El hotel tenía un rótulo que decía frijoles para el desayuno. And I was very happy. I was like, yeah, frijoles. But sweet beans. Pero eran dulces. And I was like, horrible. <laughs> so, and I imagine Manuel have different stories about this. Manuel, what is the most different culture that you have experienced? Mm the the russian uh -huh. culture, maybe Why? and uh, egypt egypt too. egyptians e e e egyptian uh, is more different why uh, more different um, than that, that than than salvadorian salvadorian culture what makes it different que la hace más diferente bueno uh, uh, la the food mm -hmm. the food y the 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 the, uh, the weather uh -huh. but the people is is um, similar uh, Salvadorian people uh, are similar uh -huh. yeah uh, the uh, the 
mercado, como uh -huh. the eh, markets, uh -huh. the market eh, in the street is five, eh, five, como cinco veces más más buisto que conservador. <laughs> Five times noisier, you say. It's yeah. five times noisier. Five, five times noise, noisier. Uh -huh. Five times yeah. noisier. But y, they, they don't the, call you, they don't call you mi amor there <laughs> in the market. <laughs> yeah, in the, in the, in the streets, eh, no, no, como se dice, uh, semáforos. Oh my God. What no are... semáforos, but in the, in the street, the cars, Camels, eh, carretas, bicicletas, eh, todo el tiempo junto, todo. Oh my goodness, I imagine how crazy the traffic un caos, is. Un caos. So you say, there are no traffic lights. There are no traffic lights. There are no yeah. traffic lights. Oh my God. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and for the ones that have visited the United States, it is very different. People who drive are very polite. Right, los que van manejando son bien amables, and they yeah. stop and they say like go 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 go, and in yeah. El Salvador, yeah, <laughs> over. Yeah, you. in the United States, uh, the the respect in the uh, the rulers. Yeah, they um, respect the rules a lot. The uh, the why, ¿cómo se dice la carretera? The streets. Yeah. El highway, highway. The highway, uh huh? Is very very anchas como wide, wide very wide, wide. very yes. wide yeah and here in our country right aquí hacemos yeah. los cinco carriles <laughs> yeah aquí no hay pero aquí los hacemos los cinco carriles <laughs> and you're like yeah in the middle sí cabe you say and you pass your car in, in the middle of the buses so this is what i was going to talk about today crossing cultures right crossing cultures when you go to a different country and you experience the culture shock. What is the culture shock? The culture shock is like, en mi país no pasa esto. That's a culture shock when you are like, mm, what's going on, right? If you go to a different country, for example, ladies dress in a different way. And you, if you go to the United States, for example, the ladies have these mini shorts on the street normal and then and, and here in, in El Salvador you're like I know we know we know <laughs> but there it's normal right or it's normal in the in the in the metro uh, in the street and in, in the park it's normal everything the, is really normal the different the different people the 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 ¿cómo se dice? Multicultura de todos los países. Yeah, the, it's a multicultural. It's multicultural. Multicultural, multicultural. So when you visit a different country, you miss different things. You get worried about different things. And you get used to different things. To get used. What is the meaning of get used? Get used. What is the meaning of that? Any idea? Saludos. Mm, no, get used. Solía hacer algo. Mm, no, getting used. Get used is like acostumbrarte. acostumbrarte. Ah. Ah. Exactly. Ah. Right? Getting used. Ah. To get used to something, right? You can miss something. You say, ah, I know one thing that I will really miss is this. If you try, it's funny that when you travel to another country and you say, Ay, the pupusas. You miss the pupusas. But now there are pupusas everywhere in the world. If not, you can make your own pupusas and that's it, right? But you can buy pupusas everywhere, right? If you go but to it's Walmart, not the same. it's not the same for sure, right? But if you go to Walmart, you can find pupusas, frozen pupusas. They sell it there. I will be worried about me preocupo por tal cosa, right? I'll be worried about the local food. I might not like it. Pueda que no me guste. Getting used to different customs might be difficult at first. Getting used to different customs might be difficult at first, right? I had the opportunity to meet a Thailand friend. 
and they only eat halal food. Do you know what is the meaning of halal food? Seven cases. Halal food is a special food that is blessed at the moment of killing the animal. So here in El Salvador, usted agarra el pollo, yeah, that's an apple. Bye bye. But the halal food goes through a process of preparation. The animal is killed in a specific way. And it is like a whole thing. Okay, matan al animal de una cosa específica. Él se desangra naturalmente. And it is a big process. But the thing is that my friend doesn't eat anything that is not halal. Right? Ella no comía nada que no fuera halal food. ¿Y cómo vamos a ir halal food in an American country? It was the United States. There you have Burger King, McDonald's, and everything. And in McDonald's, they don't say like, oh, vaquita hermosa. <laughs> That's it, right? It is very complicated. So she was not eating anything. So she said like, no, 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 this is not halal. Only rice, only vegetables, only things. So it might be difficult at first. My room at home is the thing that I will miss the most. I will miss the most. Your bed, for example. Not knowing the prices of things is something that I will be concerned about. Not knowing the prices of things or the money when the money is different. It can be a problem. If you go to Honduras, for example, and you have all this amount of money, right? Como mil no sé cuánto vales de... <laughs> but the money is different. If you go to Guatemala, to Guatemala it's like, no, 500 quetzales. Sí, qué caro. And it's like $50, right? So it is a problem also, the currency or the money. Moving to a country with a different climate or the weather could be a challenge. Would you like to move to Canada, people, right now? Yeah. That it's very cold. Oh. No. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> with with seven sweaters there. I'm my allergic. Next, my next travel is <laughs> in <West> Canada. Cold <laughs> weather. Oh, you like cold weather? That me too. <laughs> so glad I'm you are. But, but I, I'm allergic. Oh, you are allergic. Oh my god, that would be a problem for you. So Manuel, your next travel is to Canada. It's it's Canada for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Sent pictures. <laughs> the, it's, uh, white, white Christmas. The white Christmas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a lucky man you are. I know him via photo. <laughs> Sent us a lot of pictures of, of Canada. Oh, what a beautiful thing. Would you like to travel to Egypt, people? And that is um. the opposite. Canada is like freezing cold, right? But Egypt? Yeah. It's really hot. Oh, yes. I, I wouldn't like to go to, to a hot place. I would rather go to a very, very cold place. Right? So uh, moving to a, to a country with a different weather can be a challenge. What happens, for example, if you go, if you are from a country that is very cold and you come to El Salvador? Imagínense, nos traemos uno de allá de Alaska para acá. It will be like, me muero de calmar. <laughs> or maybe they are going to say, ah, it's beautiful. The weather is perfect. Because it's not cold, it's not hot, right? It's like kind of chilled, it's nice. No nos, podemos, no, no nos tenemos que ir tan lejos. Si viene alguien del Boquerón a San Salvador, super. <laughs> Yes, and they say it's very hot in here. Or people from San, I, I love to see people from San Miguel in San Salvador. Even the chip red for the hot. Yeah, I love to see people from San Miguel uh, in San Salvador with sweater. <laughs> What's going on? Que frío hace aquí en San Salvador? No. no. And it happens, right? It's true. It's true. 
I would be worried about getting sick and not knowing how to find a good doctor. Me, afligir, me, me, pondría, me pondría muy afligido el enfermarme y no saber encontrar un buen doctor. Something I would be nervous about is communicating in a new language. Curious, but it is easier than you imagine. Because you get used to it because you are listening to English all the time. The problem is when it is another language that you don't know. The brain is not connected with the mouth. No, I remember, <laughs> I remember my, my Somali friends. They were like, and they had this little, this language that was so complicated. And I was like, okay. Mejor me voy. <laughs> because I didn't know what they were talking about. And the same thing was me talking with my Guatemalan friend. Okay. De los 20 que habíamos juntos en, en esa beca, había un guatemalteco. And we used to speak Spanish a lot. And all the people were like, because they didn't know Spanish. And I said, like, mm. <laughs> the revenge, I said. <laughs> And they, they were like, I, I don't speak Spanish. No, 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 no Latin, no Latin. And I was like, it's not Latin, it's Spanish. <laughs> so it is complicated, right? When you want to communicate in a new language. But one thing that is good is that everybody from everywhere learns English. And you can communicate with English. More than 80% 80, 80 of the world speak English. So that's why it is so important to know how to communicate in another language. So tell me people, if you travel to another country, would you miss your mother's cooking? Um, yeah. Say my mom's cooking. You will miss your mother's cooking. Actually, I cook. Yes, I do. <laughs> Now you cook, right? Now you cook. Or would you miss your local food? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a different thing, right? Uh, would you be worried about the different customs from people? Las costumbres de la gente? Would you be worried or getting used to that? It Some might be difficult. Curious, curious about it. Okay, you yeah. can be curious <laughs> about it. Good. My room at home is something that I will miss. Would you miss your bed, people? Van a extrañar en su cama si se van del país. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Of course, you turn. It's yeah. nothing like my bed, my bed. Yeah, it can be whatever type of bed. Like, it, no sé, que cualquiera le diga que está feita, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. But it's your bed, and it's like, it's my paradise. You know? Ya tiene mi forma. <laughs> exactly like that. It has the shape of you okay the weather do you think that the weather or the climate could be a challenge for you in another country yes yes right no. for gladys definitely yes. no for arturo okay manuel have you ever have you ever had a difficulty with the climate or the weather absolutely <laughs> you enjoy all of them yeah yeah that's something fantastic that you enjoy everything. And for sure, getting sick in another country, the problem is the price because it's very expensive. Hitting El Salvador is like, ah, for, for salud, el seguro, whatever thing, and you go. But in another sí, country, seguro, no hay atención. exactly. If you don't have uh, insurance, bye bye. <laughs> Señor Jesús, <laughs> soy yo de nuevo. <laughs> It will be a culture shock. So here I have some adjectives that are included or that are related with the culture shock. Have you ever, people, have you ever felt anxious? Yes. 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 Almost all the time. Yes, <laughs> all the time, right? Good and night. you know the meaning, right, of anxious. What about comfortable? Comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. Comfortable, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Confident? 
Confidential. A little bit. Short. Confident es, no es confidencial, ¿ok? Esto es confiado, uh, seguro. Uh -huh. Right? Uh, When you say, I can do it, I will do it, I can survive. ¿Ok? When you say, like, los pasajeros del vuelo 40, vamos a abordar. Here I go, you say. And then you go confident, right? No me da miedo, no me da miedo, no me da miedo. Sí, me da miedo y me da peso. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. Never. That's the most beautiful experience, people. That's, it's it's yes. fantastic. Yes, yeah, yes, I know. I, I just joke. It is. No, yeah, it is the best. I think I spent 30 years, almost 30 years of my life being afraid of the airplanes. <laughs> yeah. 30 años de mi vida que pasé con un gran terror a los aviones. And once I did it, it was fantastic. It is the most beautiful thing in the world. Yeah. It is fantastic. When you see the ocean and everything, ah, it's beautiful. So whenever you have the chance to do it, people, do it. Aunque sea Guatemala que vayamos en avión. It, it's okay. And when you feel the, the, the earth It's much better. <laughs> yeah. The turbulence are very fun. It is good that you go from El Salvador. Si usted va del Salvador, las turbulencias son los baches. Ahí se Es como ir en una 52. <laughs> It is the same feeling. O, o, o un terremoto. Un terremoto. Uh, yeah, or an earthquake. <laughs> as we are used to that. So there is no problem. Depressed. This is hard. This is hard when you spend many days far from home. You might feel depressed in some days, right? You might feel like, yeah. Embarrassed. This is not embarazada, okay, people? No. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't get confused, right? Me I, siento embarazada. <laughs> I feel embarrassed. Did you? No, right? <laughs> embarrassed is when you are ashamed and you're like, oh, no. Oh my God, embarrassed, like me siento apenada, right? Yeah. Embarrassed, it's like, so yeah, that's me. <laughs> enthusiastic, right? Enthusiastic is like, yeah, let's go and do this. Excited, excited is like, eh, prepárense que vamos a despegar. Hey, you are excited or when you are in la, in, in, in la rueda, right? Cuando vas al, al parque de diversiones, you're like, yeah. It's exactly, but you feel you feel like all the adrenaline yeah. going, adrenaline. right? Fascinated, fascinated. <laughs> Me in, in in Christmas, I am fascinated about all the decorations and everything, and I'm like ah, opening my mouth everywhere. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> fascinated, yeah. Yo en el parque Cuscatlán allá viendo los muñecos decorados. Yes, I'm fascinated about it. Homesick. What is the meaning of homesick? That you nostalgico. are nostalgic, right? That you are there in, in Australia and then you say like ah, the, it's depend the time. Yeah, okay. depending on how many days you go. Because you have the peaks of the missing of the person, right? If you travel for five or six days, ni se acuerda. <laughs> <laughs> ah, che, ah, ni le hablado mi mamá, right? <laughs> That's five days. But uh, you don't feel the difference. But when you spend many, many days far from home, you can feel homesick. Insecure. Yeah. Insecure is like, mm, I don't know, right? Allá viene Don John, John Brian. Vaya a saludarlo. Eh, eh, you don't know if you can do it in English, right? You are like, oh, okay, uh, 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 Buen, buenos, buenos noches, señor Brian. In the, in, buenos morning. Yeah, right. Buenos morning. Buenos morning. No, no, no. You feel insecure. Even when you can do the things, right? You can feel nervous. Endless. Nervous. Okay. It's like nervous. Are you okay? Yes, I am okay. <laughs> And mm -hmm. You are so nervous. Uncertain. Uncertain is when you don't know what's going to happen, right? It's like, hey, y ahora? You don't really Incierto. know what to do, right? Uncertain. Uncomfortable is the opposite of comfortable, right? Uncomfortable is like, mm, no, Let, let's go. Let's go, right? 
imagine it's, this is just an example okay Joaquin that you are in in a room full of alianza people and you with your fast shirt you might feel uncomfortable right it's like mm, yes <laughs> you know my wife you say ah uh, or what about the argentinian boy full uh, in a room with only he is the only argentinian and all the other ones are from france so he might feel uncomfortable so that's that's something that's the meaning of this and the last one is worried yes. worried is a mixture of fear and and nervousness and anxiety right you feel worried and it's connected with anxious it is connected with anxious right it is connected with anxious most of them are related right most of them are related because if you feel anxious then you feel nervous you feel uncomfortable you feel insecure and then all these things are connected but these are most of the adjectives that can be related to traveling to a different country in the first days you are going to be curious you are going to be fascinated excited you are going to be a uh, not homesick, not depressed, right? But with the pass of the days, you might feel any of all these ones, okay? Those are adjectives that you can feel. And here we have a short example. Let me see. I am going to ask Carlos Alfredo. Can you help me to read it? I am going to be letter B. You are letter A. Letter A in yes. my case. Yes. Okay. Okay, I felt anxious yesterday. I had to give an important presentation at work. How did the presentation go? I was nervous and uncomfortable at first. I don't like speaking in public. Okay, I felt I was nervous and uncomfortable at first. I don't like speaking in public. How did you feel after the presentation? Actually, I felt pretty confident. I think it went really well. Okay, I think it went really well. It happens all the time. When you are about to do something, you feel all the adjectives, right? Antes de hacer algo, usted le da de todo, right? Anxious, insecure, hey, whatever, uncomfortable. But then you are like, oh, all the adjectives. Happen? All the adjectives, right? The feeling. <laughs> All the feelings, okay? <laughs> si no, recuerden cuando se iban a poner por primera vez la vacuna del COVID. <laughs> you were like, me, me voy a morir, me va a dar no sé qué, me va a dar, me va a la presión. And then, nothing. Que se te cae el brazo, se te cuelga el brazo, que no sé qué, que no te vas a poder mover. And they, they invented so many things. And I then, was excited. <laughs> You're excited, right? But it, after that, you say like, nothing happened. Actually, I feel pretty confident. It all went really well. So tell me one thing that make you feel anxious. One thing that make you feel anxious. Me, teacher. Uh-huh. When I, when I, uh, I have to do um, ex, uh, final exam. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, teacher. Gracias. Yeah. <laughs> when I have to do final exams, you feel anxious. Okay. Yes. Tell me, me something. Uh -huh. Yeah. When I have to. Uh-huh. When I have to. No, perdimos oh. la de. <laughs> when you have to Anyone. go out. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. yeah when you are serious, yes. <laughs> you feel. Me, for me, teacher, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Um, uh, earthquake, no sé, como temblor. <laughs> ah, the earthquake, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so bad for me. Yeah. In that case, in some cases, like the shake is solo como los temblorcitos, right? The earthquake, ya son como ¿Cómo? fuertecitos. Shake. Como shake. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. solo como la, los temblores suavecitos se llaman Leves. shakes. Shake. 
Shake. And the other one, the earthquake. Earthquake <laughs> is terremoto. Yes. It is a little bit a little bit uh, higher, bigger, longer than a shake. That's okay. an earthquake. And at, at tremor, tremor son como los temblorcitos, los de cuatro, cinco. That's a tremor. Okay, temblorcito. Shake is just like, that's it. Tremor. <laughs> An earthquake. That's the difference, okay. Como entendí que era la diferencia entre shake, tremor y earthquake? Thanks to my, to my teacher. Shake. Tremor, earthquake. Mm -hmm. There you have the three, <laughs> the three different forms, Good right? <laughs> Good explanation, right? I am very visual. I remember. It is like, ah, ah, and ah. Another difference <laughs> between the three of them. Tell me this something. <laughs> yeah. Tell me something that makes you feel excited. Hmm. When I um, when I go into studying a new a new model. Okay, when you go, you are going to study a new module. You feel excited, right? Me too, me too, and that makes me feel very happy. That makes me feel fascinated and excited. Well, so on your book, you are going to find this example. You are going to find this little exercise. So please try to check it out for tomorrow because we are going to finish working on this one. And uh, here you have the grammar that we have been studying today. One thing that I will really miss, something that makes me nervous, uh, two people that I will call every week, right? You have the different exercises here. And tomorrow we are going to discuss these questions, okay? Esas son las preguntas que vamos a discutir el día de mañana. Se las voy a enviar en un momentito en una foto para que vengan listos con sus respuestas, ¿ok? Because right now I am going to go to uh, the next class, but I want you to practice your answers because that's what we are going to discuss. So, my dear class, I am going to see you tomorrow for our final meeting and we are going to discuss these questions. Have a beautiful night and I will see you tomorrow for another class. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Nice to see you. Bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye.